Hey guys, uh, I am back after a long, long while. Yeah, it's been a while. I was just busy with school and wasn't feeling like filming at all, so that's why it took me like a year. It took me a year. I'm so sorry. But now I'm back and I wanted to share my August favorites because in the month of August, it's still my, it's still my summer holiday. I will be going back to school in two weeks, but I wanted to share some favorites from this month. It's going to be a bit of makeup, books, movies, TV shows, and random stuff. I'm going to get right to it, and we're going to start with the makeup. I bought two things uh, this month, two more expensive things. I don't have a lot of expensive makeup, so I decided to buy something. Because when I was in Barcelona, I went to Sephora for the first time in my life. I'm 16, like why did it take me so long? And uh, Urban Decay came to the Netherlands. I bought something at Kat Von D and at Urban Decay. And I bought more daring colors because I like I like weird colored lipsticks. Um, I'll show you the Urban Decay one first because that's also the one I'm wearing right now. It's a blue one. It's the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the color Heroin. And it's very nice shiny packaging, looks very nice. And the lipstick, yeah, it's very blue. I love it, I think the formula is very nice. It's uh, a comfort matte, so it's in between uh, the creamy and the matte formula Urban Decay, Urban Decay has. And it's nice because it's like matte, but you can actually apply it. Because I always find with like really matte lipsticks, it's like a mess. And then the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick, I bought the color Prayer. It's like a really dark red-purple-ish shade. And I love the Kat Von D lipsticks because of the packaging. I mean, come on! And this is what it looks like. And I will swatch this color for you, so you kind of have an idea. I just wanted to invest in them because I think I don't have any expensive makeup and I want to invest in some really good quality lipsticks in colors that drugstore brands don't have. Then I will get into books. I have a lot of books and most of the books are in Dutch but I will tell you what the names are in English. I've got this series. It's the Legend series by Mary Lou. I'm just starting in this book. I bought it yesterday. So I'm like in the first couple of pages, but I read those two, the first two, when I was on my holiday, and they're great. It's uh, about America in the future, in the future, and it's about like one of uh, a criminal, wanted uh, boys, like 15 years old, and about this girl who is like a, a soldier in training, and they their paths cross and it's very exciting and frustrating but I love them. The book that I read in English is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and I really liked it. It's about this boy and his mom is very sick and in his nightmares this monster, the monster that's like the tree in their backyard comes to him and tells him these stories and I love this book because of all the cool drawings. So it makes the reading experience complete with all those really nice pictures. And I thought it was a really good book. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Well, I finished this book for the first time. I read it two times. Uh, for the first time I was sitting on this terrace in France and I uh, was with my family and I was reading it with my sunglasses on. And I read the last page, I was crying, I cried. It got me, it got me very deep. It takes place in a future where love is perceived as a disease and you get treated for it when you're 18. And it's about this girl, Lena, uh, when she's 17, just before she gets treated. And then she falls in love and gets all fucking frustrating. But the book is great. And I recommend it to everyone. Now we have this book, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. It's like a 
like a modern Red Riding Hood story. So my two sisters, Scarlett and Rosie March, uh, when they were really young, they lost all their family, and one of uh, the sisters got really disfigured by an attack by werewolves. So uh, after that, they go hunt for the werewolves, and I really liked it because it was like action packed. Because I don't read a lot of books that are like action packed. And then this other book, the last one, is from the Spanish writer Carlos Ruiz, Ruiz Zafón. And it's September Lights. And I loved it because uh, Carlos's books are a lot. Uh, this weird combination of the normal world with like this sci fi. I'm really sci fi, but like horror monster. There's always a monster in his books. And he makes no. He just knows how to make the monster actually realistic. But it's about a family. Uh, their dad just died, and the mom got a new job at this uh, uh, Lazarus person, he uh, owns a toy factory, he makes toys and uh, they can work for him so they move and then the daughter falls in love with this guy and the son goes exploring things and then one of their friends die and there's a monster and everything gets real fucked up. But it was really fun. And now I'm going to talk about two movies I liked the last month. Before I went on my holiday, I went to see The Neon Demon by Nicholas Winding Refn in the cinema. Because I was like, when I saw the trailer for the first time and I saw a few reviews, I was like, damn, I've got to see that shit. Because I really like Drive and I really like artsy and weird movies. And everything looked so pretty. So I was like, mom, you'll like this too. You'll come with me. So, uh... We went! And you can't see it in the background, but there's like this tiny Neon Demon poster there. Because I was like, it's so pretty, I need to have it. The movie is about this girl, uh, Jessie. She's played by Elle Fanning. Beautiful girl. Casting was on point, if uh, I can say so. I should tell you what's about Jessie. This young model, she's 16 years old, and she moves to Los Angeles to become this model. And uh, she immediately gets super famous. She has, uh, they describe her as having this thing. She has this thing that all the other models don't have and everybody's really jealous of her. And then everything gets really fucked up because that's what Nicholas Winding Refn likes. It's like a movie you have to watch like a hundred times and I did my own research online on every single symbol that was there and I talked about it all the time and just a movie that gets in your head. And then the second movie I liked Yes, people, I liked the movie, was Suicide Squad. Don't shoot me, I liked the movie. I don't know if you can see, but I have the Joker, Funko, pop doll thing, I have it there. I'm not gonna say what Suicide Squad is about, because everybody knows, it's about the bad guys that are saving the world. Yeah, and you have all these comic book characters that everybody knows, and they come together in the squad, and... It has like all these famous people in it, Margot Robbie, Will Smith, uh, Viola Davis, and that's what I can remember. And it's directed by David Ayer, he also made a lot of great movies. I think we can all agree, the movie has flaws. It's not, not at all a perfect movie. I mean, the editing, editing is a bit jumpy, sometimes weird, sometimes it doesn't completely make sense. The Joker was not used enough and the scenes were sometimes a bit out of context or weird with the rest of the movie because they were just so sudden and they happened and that was it and also the most super movies uh, superhero movies or DC Marvel movies you have this CGI creature I never liked the CGI creature creature because it's like a monster, it doesn't, like, a monster without a purpose, without a soul, so I don't care about it. And it's just kind of weird. I loved Harley Quinn and Deadshot, they were hilarious. The Joker, I find, was pretty cool, didn't see enough of him to completely judge him, but I had a lot of fun with it. I can agree on the flaws, they're there. But you just have to have fun with it. And I think before we go on to TV shows, I will show you a miscellaneous thing 
because I think when we go to a TV show, it's a lot of TV stuff at once. So I'll just show you my new shoes that I freaking love. They're great. They're by this brand, Misbehave. And yeah, they're like uh, army green-ish sneakers, just uh, with suede and yeah, normal stuff. But then it has this platform. But I really like them. They're just, they go with practically, practically every outfit because the colors are neutral. And I like the platforms that are still like bendable and you can walk on them. And now we're gonna talk about some TV shows. But I'm really excited about it because I'm kind of Netflix addict, addict. But I will start with, with something everybody has been watching. Stranger Things. Yeah, I'm also on that bandwagon. <sighs> I finished it in two days. Because I was that dumb. Before I went on a week holiday, I watched the first two episodes. Then I couldn't watch it for a week. And the day I came home, I watched the last six episodes. Because I like it so much. It's about this boy, Will, who disappears and his friends, they go, uh, go look for him and they find this girl and she has these powers and you have this cop who is really cool and you have this hysterical mom and the brother of the disappeared kid and he does weird things too and everything is so great. It's like all the great things from 80s sci-fi combined and it's amazing. I like the acting of all the people were, um, was amazing just acting wise but like oh shit and all the the plot twist and stuff that happened that just fit perfectly in the story and I loved every single moment of it and I'm watching it again and the ending was very cool kind of unsatisfying it kind of left me in this eerie mood like what's gonna happen and I have to wait like a year for the second season so that makes me kind of sad another show I've watched all the way through as far as possible is Orange is the New Black just love it, everybody knows what it's about, about these chicks in a chick prison. And it's all the drama and season 4, the ending, was kind of insane. And now we have to wait again for a long time. But it was so insane and all this stuff happened. And again, the acting was great, the storylines are great. And it's just a very entertaining show and it's not too heavy. Sometimes you have things happen that are not fun, but it's not too heavy. And that were my August favorites. Yeah, I enjoyed a lot of stuff <laughs> in this month and I hope you enjoyed the video too I will just leave links for stuff below and if you like these things too talk with me about it in the comments I would love to discuss Stranger Things because I want to talk about it so bad but all my friends haven't seen it yet ah, it's so frustrating but I just really hope you like the video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you like this thing a bit. I have a few videos on my channel, but I will start uploading uploading again. I don't know how frequently it's gonna be, but I will try to make more videos. And I will hope to see you later. I hope that I will see you on the next one. Goodbye. But seriously though, can we just agree that blue lipstick is like the new thing? Because when I go shopping, I went shopping for my school supplies. People were looking at me all the time like, what is that on her face? But I enjoy it so much. I enjoy blue lipstick so much. So can we just agree that it's great? We can just agree it's great. Okay. Bye.